Hi, my name's Greg Stanton from Hassle Free Marketing Solutions, and today on the Prosper Show, you will learn how to market yourself better and to stop spraying and praying with your marketing. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show, and today we've got none other than Greg. Greg, how are you doing today? Great, great, fantastic, great to be on your show. Very much, thank you so much. Now obviously viewers, you would know that I believe every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. And I also believe that online business people should be able to create for and relate to those that they're gonna be taking money off of. And that's the reason why every um, day we meet up with people that are already experts in their industry so that they can let us know what it is that they do to help other online businesses to actually be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable now Greg today our guest is an online marketing expert and he's gonna be telling us a little bit about how he and the team at hustle free marketing are actually championing um, you know the online marketing space in and around Australia now Greg thank you so much for taking your time with us today not a problem great stuff now Greg tell us a little bit about hustle free marketing and what it is that um, you actually do um, you know for your customers there yeah well hustle free marketing solutions actually birthed out of a uh, what has now been a 20-year career in marketing that started out in telemarketing with me wanting to start my own call center. Then that birth that, that developed into something uh, where I found a lot of our clients didn't actually understand what marketing really was. For example, first question I'd ever ask a potential client is, what's your target market? And nine times out of 10, a, a potential client would actually turn around to us and go, huh? What's a target market? So, you know, I'd find I'd spend the next hour or two there with that particular client trying to explain what a target market is, help them actually establish what their target market is, and then um, help them to then put together a marketing strategy, which at the time I was in telemarketing, and that um, may or may not have included telemarketing. So, yeah, that's how hassle-free marketing was actually birthed. Great stuff. So it's been 20 years in the making, and obviously yep. you've done it all, helping clients actually achieve results. Now, you did mention you started off in telemarketing. Are you now specializing in some particular area of marketing um, at the moment? Yeah, well, obviously being my background, I specialize in telemarketing, but I've branched more, as I said, into um, marketing strategies and um, being a marketing strategist in helping people to actually design their own marketing strategy. And then we can take that a step further once we've actually designed it and um, nutted it out step by step, we can actually then go and implement that for our clients as well. Right stuff. Thank you so much, Greg, for that. Now, you did mention earlier on that you would spend hours trying to figure out your customer's uh, target market. How important is it uh, for any online business to actually know who they, they are serving and why those people should care about receiving their message? Absolutely vital to know who you're targeting because if, you're not, if you don't know who you're targeting, you could be, you're basically using what I call the scattergun approach, where, or some, some other people call it the spray and pray method, where you're just putting information out there and hoping someone's going to be interested in it. Whereas if you know who your target market is and who your target audience is, they will then be interested in what it is that you're actually producing and actually putting out the content you're actually putting out there. Understandable. So, you know, a lot of people would think I just need a Facebook page. I just need an Instagram account and, you know, get as many followers as possible, which will, uh, I think is what you categorize as, you know, uh, spray and pray marketing. I like that term, by the way. Yes. You know, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's praying and then you hope something would stick and then you pray somebody's going to come to your um, thing. Now, how, how flawed is that approach of just thinking if you, if people can see your message, then that means at least, um, somebody would, you know, respond with, you know, a call to action or something like that. 
Uh, it's extremely flawed because you've you've got to have they've got to have a reason to want to pick up the phone or to hit that call to action button. You know, you've got to give your clients or your potential clients a reason to actually want to do that. And by doing uh, to do that, you've actually got to structure it around what are their core needs, what where are they at in their business at, at the particular moment in time. Basically, your whole entire marketing strategy is not about you and about your business and your product or service. It's about uh, your client and what are your client's needs at the particular time in which you're reaching out to them. Understandable. Now, Greg, thank you so much for that. And for the viewer, you typically understand that this show is designed to help you start scaling, grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. And you have to be creating and relating to those people that you're actually going to be demanding money off of. So if you're going to be spraying and praying with your marketing, obviously um, you're trading on dangerous ground or quick silk, um, quick send, as Greg is trying to elaborate there. Now, you did mention that um, when people are, you know, utilizing a business, it's not about them anymore. It's about the customer. How then can people measure or see the effectiveness of their marketing? Do you have any kind of tools that you use within your business that help people to actually see if they're, you know, reaching out and actually making um, progress with their marketing? Um, there's very various various tools it's just basically a a i guess uh keeping an eye on what what your marketing is actually doing as in um in terms of online there's facebook analytics um in terms of that facebook i know um in terms of websites there's uh, if, if you can get into the back end of your website, there's um, analytics on how you how many people are reaching your website and where they're actually coming from. I believe Google have a similar tool in terms of their search engine. Um, yeah, uh, in terms of the online market, if you're talking about offline, it's um, also as simple and it works online as well as putting in some sort of code into your ad or into your post or whatever it is to actually say that that is where your client actually came from when they come to you or when they make a query with you, you know, you simple as putting in say quote and put a code when you, when you contact us and that way you know where that contacts actually come from in terms of using the telephone and telemarketing, I've just simply used a, a tally sheet that actually tells me hour by hour how many calls I'm making, how many people I've actually reached, how many of those have actually converted. Understandable. Thank you so much. Now, Greg, I can tell you're an award-winning agency. You've been in the game for, um, you know, over 20 years. Has anything changed in the marketing, you know, space since the time you started up until uh, today? Oh, dramatically. The marketing space in that 20 years has changed dramatically. When I first started, it was all about the telephone. And let's hit the telephone. And basically, telephone was the only tool. There was no such thing as a website. or They were just coming about and weren't, weren't that popular. You know, 20 years ago, it was all about let's hit the telephone. Let's hit the telephone. And as many calls as you could make within, it didn't matter what you said, um, how you came across on the phone, it was all about hit the phones, hit the phones, and it was numbers, 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 churn out numbers. We've then gone to, hang on, uh, maybe numbers is not what it's all about. You actually need to build a relationship with the potential client, and uh, it's more quality rather than quantity. Then um, it's now moved. I took some time out actually due to um, family matters and illness. I took about five years away from the game. And in that time is when everything became online. And when I came back, I was utterly shocked. I had to try to get my head around a new, new concept, a new approach to marketing where it was more, far more relational rather than numbers based. And yeah, that was 
for me personally, that was a very, very hard um, period. But, um, yeah, it seems to be now all online. If You know, you have to have a website. You have to have an interactive website. You have to uh, – video is really huge. And they say these days video is king, you know, that if you're not producing videos, well, then – you're getting left way behind. Thanks. Thanks for being on our video today. That's okay. <laughs> now, um, yeah. And, uh, but now I'm finding that it's, um, there's a balance now. There's, let's find a balance between that online world and actually using the telephone as well and having that personal interaction with your potential client rather than, um, as I say, uh, the spray and pray of putting stuff on the internet and then hoping someone's actually going to see it. Understandable. So obviously there has, there has been ups and downs and now you did say you're noticing a shift back to actual one-on-one interaction. Did I get you right? That people now really crave to be, um, you know, connected to the people that they're going to be serving. Basically, I'm finding that people are going back to using the telephone, going back to, um, well, maybe not so much um, face-to-face interaction in terms of networking. Um, that at times can be a waste of time. You, you know, you go away from a networking function and you end up with a pile of cards about that thick and, and then, <laughs> yes, exactly. And uh, then you never do anything with them or you make a phone call and it turned out to be a complete waste of time. Whereas if you use the telephone first to build that relationship via the telephone or some other means like online through social media, then that is far more successful than rather, rather than just fronting up at a network meeting cold. Understandable. So obviously I'm, I'm really gravitating towards your experience because um, a lot of people are just starting out and, you know, they just, you know, do something for two months or three months and then they don't see the results and then they get tired. What sort of results can, I mean, what sort of, um, uh, advice can you give somebody who's, you know, too lazy to wait for the results or is not getting the results that they are anticipating? What, what, what can you tell somebody who's watching right now and is wanting that quick fix? Um, I believe it was the, uh, it was Rachel Hunter that once said, it doesn't happen overnight, but it will happen. And you've just got to keep monitoring it. Uh, that doesn't mean, you know, that you keep doing the same thing over and over again. It's, I believe that the definition of stupidity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. The idea is that you keep at it, but you keep monitoring and changing it, say, one or two degrees of one way or the other to get the result that you required. Understandable. Well, I can't thank you enough, Greg, for being with us today. Now, just one last thing. What are we to expect from hustle marketing in the next coming years? Uh, we're putting together, uh, we're actually in the process now of putting together a one day workshop where you'll learn um, the art of voiceover and the importance of voiceover in marketing, uh, the importance of video in marketing. Actually, even before any of that, what is marketing? Uh, The importance of telemarketing and the role telemarketing plays in today's world, as well as um, how to run a successful event and also um, getting your business on the web. Understandable. Right. How can people get a hold of you? I mean, somebody would have been watching and they're like, I mean, Greg is my guy. I'm tired of spraying and praying with my marketing. I really need to start honing it in. How can people get a hold of you there, Greg? Yeah, they can contact us, uh, me directly on my mobile 0423 123. They can look us up on the web at www.hasslefreemarketing.com.au or or they can find us also on Facebook and LinkedIn and YouTube. Great stuff. Well, I can't thank you enough for taking your time um, with us today and sharing your expertise, especially how you've been, um, you know, one of the greats in the marketing industry and still are taking numbers and, you know, you know, showing us how it's done. Thank you so much for your time today. It's been great, Prosper. Fantastic. Great.
You've done this before, haven't you? Yep. <laughs> not, not much, not much recently, but yes. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Okay, I think that's that's.